Hey what is up everyone I hope all of you are doing great and in today's question we have in an external electric field a molecule is polarized the dipole moment thus induced is given by equation p vector equals alpha times e vector where alpha is known as the polarizability is a positive constant and e vector is the external electric field consider a molecule of polarizability a sorry alpha located at a distance r from the dipole of dipole moment p naught on its axis find force of electrostatic interaction between the molecule and the dipole so to solve this question let us recall few things we know that for a conservative force uh, it can be extracted from a scalar potential function right uh, using this formula so if you reduce this formula using this notation and this notation is nothing but i cap del del x plus j cap del del y plus k cap del del z okay in engineering or in first year of engineering you will learn that this is known as the 3d vector differentiation operator right and when this operator operates on a scalar function in our case it is u you the terminology that we will use is gradient of u okay so whenever you are writing something like this we call it as gradient of u on a vector if you do a dot product with a vector quantity you call it divergence and when you do a cross product with a vector you call it the curl right and but uh, those things are not in our syllabus so i won't go there further so potential energy of a dipole of dipole moment p in an external electric field e vector can be written as minus p dot e high school level so force of interaction is minus gradient of u which is nothing but this one now if you search for your good books or if you search the internet or if you have griffiths you can uh, check that one that if you do the gradient of this scalar this scalar is p dot e uh, expanding this whole thing will give you this one okay please don't go into the derivation of this just remember for the time being this will be this whole thing right now i want to repeat this whole thing you can see on the screen p vector is constant okay so if you use a differentiation operator on p vector it will give you zero again in this case also there is a differentiation operator on p vector it will also give you zero right now electric field is a conservative vector so curl of a conservative vector is always zero right curl of any conservative field will be zero so our this big formula will reduced to this one fine where p is the dipole moment of the molecule that is alpha times e and what is e vector e vector is the electric field that is created suppose this is our dipole and here it is our small molecule of dipole moment p vector and uh, here this dipole is creating some electric field here along the axis and what is the formula for electric field due to a dipole along its axis 2k e p not vector where p not vector is the dipole moment of the first dipole it will lead you to this equation so this is the equation of the force okay i hope you can understand this one now this electric field is the electric field created by this dipole so and uh, we know for plane polar coordinates like for cartesian co coordinate was i cap del del x plus j cap del del y for all plane polar coordinates this operator can be written like this okay now in our question theta is fixed it is theta equals to 0 right so just uh, use this one in place of this okay so after differentiation you get this one okay now just uh, do some basic calculation finally you get the expression for force something like this okay with a minus r cap so this minus r cap represents that the force is attractive on that molecule okay you can do the differentiation part properly by yourself okay 
So I hope you all have found this video helpful and informative. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.